Hello viewers, this is Harold Linia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. We're still exploring the Rocky Crag. Hopefully this, in this episode we'll find the village of Polta. Our tears fall into the chaos. I'm not death. wild about these Hanumans. Especially when their little friends buff them up like this. Goodbye. So long, enemies. And we've earned the Hero of Glory trophy. I'm betting that's for defeating a certain number of enemies. When I find out what it is, I'll post it in the comments. Oh. I'm not tangling with you. Hello there. Time for some more monkey business. You can't me. Staggered. My journey doesn't end here. Pray for the dead. Just a little break to refill my HP with a guard. Let's make a show of it. And that is that. Electric Blitz and Thunder. Anyway, we'll climb this slope. First, let's check to the east. Some more monkey business. All volleys this time. So long, enemies. Let us put Chronostasis back on. 
Then we'll glide across to the other side. More of these guys. Let's make a show of it. Inspiration, give me haste. Well, now that the big guy is down, we'll focus on the little guys. Just one left. So long, Volleys and Hanuman. And on the ground here, we've got another rocky crag mole. Now Polta is to the west here, past some more monkeys. Make a show of it. Let's make a show of it. Smarts. Have a dance with swords. But this will hurt worse. Goodbye. to guard up again. And that is that. Sacred path with Fight more me. monkeys. Let's dance. Charging up again. Ah! So 
so on to the big one. Now for you, Volley. There's another rocky crag mole. Got more than enough of those now. Somewhere in this area stands a remote village, which is inhabited by followers of Etro. They were run out of the cities for being heretics. And fled here, a land blighted by the goddess's temple, where no others dare to tread. And here is the village of Polta. Let's check up here first. Must be the temple over there. Could be. Aurora level two. More chronostasis, please. to check out more of the town. Not very much here, I don't think. Oh, here's a quest giver. I can't take this curse anymore. I need Cardesia's elixir. He said something about Cardesia that sounds like a woman's name. Cardesia. I know her. That's the apothecary in Yogg village. Mercy of a goddess quest accepted. Tell me, traveler, where did you come from? I sense something in you. A kind of strange power. Everyone who lives in this village worships the goddess Etro. Here, we are closer to her sacred presence than anyone else in the world. One day we shall leave our corporeal bodies and be summoned to her side. Here, we wait for that day. We have not always lived here. We come from Luxarian, Yusnam, and other cities that have since been swallowed by the chaos. But then, as now, the Order ruled the cities. They preach that the God of Light, their almighty Benevelsa, should be worshipped above all other gods. We defied them, and so we were persecuted. Some of my brothers and sisters took up arms and fought back against the Order. However, I and others like me abhorred the violence. So we came out here, seeking a peaceful sanctuary. All right, Mr. Headsman. Then you must wait until he is fully healed, unless... Hmm... You are telling me that his wings are not yet strong enough to bear you to the temple? Poking around for treasures and such. Up, oh, who are you? This village stands at the edge of the goddess's holy land. Only the chosen one has the power to cross over to the temple of the goddess. Well, lightning did serve Etro for a while.
Oh, what's here? Ancient writing is carved in stone. However, it cannot be deciphered. I guess we'll have to decipher it later. Could that be? Is that the Angel of Legends? The White Chocobo? I, I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you, you, you are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. The Chocobo is fully recovered from his wounds. I think it's time, Light. Fate has brought you this far, and the Chocobo is ready to take you the rest of the way. Go to the temple. Find the source of the Great Chaos. And now we have the quest Killing Time. You have been chosen by the Angel of Valhalla. I, I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you, you, you are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. Okay. To reach the temple, you have to follow the route from Polta as far as you can. Then the Angel of Valhalla will fly you the rest of the way. So... Here we are at the end of the path. Now we have to glide over here. And glide over to the left here. And glide ahead. And glide to the right. And here we are. Look at the angel soar! And just like that, we complete the quest Killing Time. We get a hundred gill, a white chocobo figurine, and a stat boost or two. Your mission was to bring me here, to the gates of this temple, and you've completed that task. From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the Savior's job. The Temple of the Goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the Great Chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart, and it was unleashed by one man. All because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. So, is Caius Ballad here? We will find out eventually. This is Hair Altlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.